Just going to prepare a scabbard for my new sword for the Royal Guard of Rohan. Now, um, the old scabbard that was supplied is not really fit for purpose, obviously, because it's a different shape, and so I need to get something around my blade. And I probably have to redo these decorations as well, they're not up to scratch. Now, obviously this is going to involve an enlarged version of the sword, uh, the blade, so... Well, there's ways you can do that. I'd be wary of anything to do with inflating or enlarging. It's, it's not going to... Like if I, if I copy this, I duplicate, and then, you see, if I just simply try and make a larger one, then uh, that's all very well. You can see the, the original inside there. That's all very well, but not in every direction. For example, look what happens at the bottom here. You get... Uh, it's hard to see there we are. You get this um, disparity in, in different directions. You know, it's not going to... You can't enlarge in every direction. That's more like a... Alert from low battery. Could it be an inflate? Well, I'm not so keen on that either for the same reason. Yeah, you could probably inflate. Yeah, that's pretty nice. The trouble with inflation is you can't do too much in one go and hope to get away with it. Although that, that worked well. Sometimes inflating really doesn't uh, go well and the whole thing breaks up but actually that's surprisingly good well we might have saved some time here I was going to do the whole boolean operations again I was going to extract the way I would have normally approached it would be to extract a single thickness from the object. You see. Um, it just feels a lot cleaner. If I extract 0 0.01, you see what I'm looking for right now is the distance between the sword and the scabbard, the gap. I want to have a gap. Um, that looks like a pretty large gap. Let me just see again. Yeah, it's going to be rattling around in there, I think. That's not really... That's a bit excessive. So let's try 0 0.05. Sorry. Common mistake, 0 0.005. Half of 0 0.01 is 0 0.005, obviously. So extract it, and let's see. Yeah, that's more like it. I like that. That's um, that's the kind of thickness uh, of gap, width of gap, I'm looking for. So it's not going to rattle around, but you can get it in. Let's just accept that and see. Now what I would do is uh, just pull up the top a little bit, and. Um, 
I can't just cut that off because I've got a void. I've got a void shape. Um, yeah, no, I can't even dynamish that right now. I'm not going to risk it. It's you see, it's a shell in there, and I have to keep the edge of the shell. Otherwise, it's all gone. Or at least the entrance to it is, is completely messed up, so... I, um... Well, I want, to, I want to do a Boolean again. Another Boolean... Uh... This is my extract. This is my blade. I'm going to delete that. Um, I'm going to delete that inflated blade because it's just going to confuse me. Uh, let's let's get some naming going. I'm going to call this gap because otherwise it can get a little confusing. That's actually my blade. And uh, right, come on. Boolean. Append a cube. Bring it down. Check the angles. Where's my blade? Oh, my blade's down there, so... I need to see that I'm overlapping, yes. Okay. I have to overlap the contents, the blade, the, the void inside. I need to overlap that. Now I can do my... Turn this cube into geometry. And... Um, get it on a sub relationship. And the gap is on top. Merge them down. Oh, down mesh for the first time. I'm guessing here, but I don't need it to be too high because it's just a gap. It's nothing fancy. It doesn't have its own status. Well, five million is kind of excessive. Right, what do we got at the top here? Yeah, it's thin, but we want it to be thin because, you know, the gap. Oh yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is not going to be a shell. Completely idiotic. I am using this as a gap to create my shell. And so I have that nicely. And I need to then create something on top of that. So, um, this is going to be the outside, the outside of this gap is the inside of my proposed scabbard shell. So the inside should conform nicely to the object inside the inside walls of my scabbard should look like, should be the same as the sword. Great, now I need to extract on top of the gap my actual scabbard. Now I've got um, a two millimeter plate here and I quite like this for um, measuring in relation to the hilt. Uh, 
this is good. I've got um, I've got space for. Now you see, I want to be. I want to meet up with the hilt at this, the outside of this oval shape. Now, if my scabbard was two millimeters thick, I would still have room for some uh, decorative bit at the top there that wraps around a metallic uh, piece. Okay, so that's fine. Need to consider that before going ahead, really. Right, um, so I will extract again from this surface an object which is thick enough. And what will that thickness be? Perfect. I think it might be a little bit thick. Well, I can... Yeah. It's good. I can I can adjust that slightly afterwards. Okay, I'm going to say yes to that. And um, this I'm going to rename as the actual scabbard. And uh, then what I'm going to have to do is, because I've still got this translated form, the form of the sword is beautifully translated but I need to soften that off a bit so it's back to filling uh, 10 million polys, that's crazy well, let's perform that business at the top that I was talking about before so append cube Move down. I want it to stop exactly where it meets the hilt. And I want my scabbard to overlap. Okay, now I want my gap to now perform the Boolean of creating the void. Ah yes, it's important that my gap overlaps. I've got my gap and my scabbard. The gap is inside. There it is. And uh, I need to make sure that the gap is going to come outside. of the scabbard like this otherwise it's all stuck in there forever that's what I meant by the shell of the scabbard okay so I've got the gap of the sword gap yes now check it's dynameshed polygroups dy dynamesh sub scabbard down And we should be good. Yeah, there's your scabbard. Let's have a look inside and see if everything's okay. Not any real reason why it shouldn't be. Just checking. Okay, I like it. Now, um... We can get on with this filling process. Transform, activate symmetry, X and Z. Option, hold, whoa. Forgot one important thing. Look at the state of the inside. We have a very thin object, so we need 
auto masking back face mask every time well there's a few things you have to consider can't be expected to remember everything even if you do it a hundred times a day So I want to fill this up Yeah, 11 million What the hell's happened here? I thought it didn't feel right It did not feel right when I was using my filler What's going on? Back face mask, yes. Is the symmetry getting in the way? What's the problem exactly? Just have a gentler approach. Just a bit gentler. What's the story when it comes up to the edge here? I think the symmetry might have been the issue because I was overlapping perhaps into the next axis and when you do that, that can be a problem when you come to the centre but this is the idea damage. Oh, there is damage. Hang on. Is there? No. It's hard to tell. It's an illusion. The way it comes in, it's an illusion. I don't want to be checking every brush stroke, but that made me nervous before. I mean, what on earth is going on? Well, this is going to take a bit of filling, especially up, up the top end. Got to fill this up. There's a tip, decorative tip on the scabbard, and there's a band near the top, and then there's a top decoration as well. So there's quite a few decorative pieces to do. They're not hugely complicated. Tip is a slightly strange shape, though. One of those twirly kind of organic chops. All okay in there? I think so. Keep going, keep going. You'll get there. Eleven million polys is a bit excessive though.
Or is it actually, it's actually 11 million vertices? Okay, well, I can finish that later. You get the idea. I will um, need to look at these decorative parts. So there's a, a top piece, which is, um, yeah, like that. So let's see if I can bring that over and do a comparison, do an overlay. If I can bring, I need to keep my sword centered. There's no moving the sword. So I can bring that over. Ah, no, not quite far enough. Not to worry. I would have to edit that picture to get it in place. Um, so I'm not that bothered. But what I want is um, another extraction. So it's going to have... Um, Yeah, it's going to have uh, these curves. If I do this, all this stuff's going to be masked. If you do a drag, you're going to mask the inside, whether you like it or not. What's going on here? Oh, I'm in move tool. And uh, so, let's see if we can get these curves straight away. Well, not like that. Not like that either. Okay, so negative circle. Okay. No, it needs more, needs more, more circular. It's quite nice. Um, can I get anything going on the other side? extract that I can use that as something to work with I'm just going to take this back at the top and then I've got all this inside so you know you could waste time trying to demask that but what's the point all you have to do is discard it when you've created it Can discard it afterwards. So if I extract that, it's going to have to be pretty damn thin because uh, it's just a thin metal uh, veneer thing. Well, that's, that's kind of realistic. Um, I 
yeah let's take that and see I'm a bit concerned in no in the actual sword in the actual uh, scabbard it's it's a lot smoother at the top it doesn't have this angle I'm gonna have to lose all that and I'm gonna have to think about this shape at the top it's not quite right for the you know it's the sword but it's not the scabbard so I think I want to just soften that triangular business a touch and I really need to um, smooth See, it should be more like this. Oh yeah, hang on, I'm forgetting. I've got the... Uh, yeah, I've got the added decoration. But anyway, that's, that's a rough guide. Um, so can't really skip the filling up here. I really need to do it so I can get this shape. This um, just checking for damage. Yeah, I really need this to be more rounded up here. I don't want a ridge in the middle. I mean, I want that to be the case all the way down, but let's just do this now so I can get the decoration going. Okay. Filling right up to the edge there. Got a couple of mil thickness. What's this line on the inside? I'm not sure if I can do this. No, you can't do that. That's what I mean about it. You can't just trim the end off a, a void. It doesn't work like that. But I can do it like this with a Boolean. And uh, a bit of Dynamesh. Polygrips. Sub, bring down. Okay, good. Now this scabbard is going to be covered in something like, you know, material, leather. So it doesn't have to be fantastic, but it has to be regular. It has to be accurate.
Okay. Um. Okay, let's see. Just protecting my edge. As I do some softening. I can't take away too much. Obviously because that is the scabbard itself and if I start biting into the thickness of the scabbard itself it's it's going to be weakening. But mostly what I'm doing is adding. So that's okay. But just be careful in the center there. Right. Um, let's try that again. With the old mask technique. Masking a circle. And where was it? too far in. This is just a trial and error job. There's not really any other way. Well, something like that. Yeah, let's do it. I can always adjust. So extract point zero zero three five. Accept. It's going to trim that back a touch. It's unrealistically sharp. Um, delete hidden Dynamesh Oh, that's very thin What happened there? Oh, it's double-sided I don't know what happened It's all wrong no, single sided. Yeah, point zero zero three five, not zero zero zero. That's the one. That's the one you want. Uh, can we get can we get an open top though? So I need to trim that back. Forgot about that. This would save trouble. I just keep that open at the top. Nice. Right. Um, accept. Unmask. Yeah, so I've got this thing inside that I don't want. I can just split that away um, after I delete hidden. Then I can split it. Then I can delete the inside. And we're left with that. So that's good. Now I know there's a lip at the top. So we can put that in straight away. So the lip is about 
you know, that much. Hang on, Dynamesh? No, never did. I never did. Yeah, so give me a lip and I want I mean, I don't want it on the inside though, do I? Let me do it on the inside and I can fix it after. So, masking I'm going to have a bit of blur on that and then I'm going to inflate for a lip. It's not massive, but it's... It's, you know, it's there. Something like that, I think. So yeah, what I've now got is a problem on the inside. You see, I'm going to have a lip on the inside. But that's okay, I can just use an old scabbard, or a new scabbard, and uh, bring that up. And use that as a boolean against the inside. Oh, it's hard to talk and work quickly. Um, I feel the talking slows me down, but. Yeah, merge. It's hard for my brain to do talking and working. It's hard to talk about what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I feel like it slows me down. All I'm trying to do is provide the inner monologue that I might be going through anyway. I just vocalize my thoughts, my work process, and some other random thoughts. Okay, um, I like this. This is good. Making progress. Now, there's something tricky with uh, an edge here. I think it would be quite hard to how, how is the best way to do this? You know, masking all that again, that's gonna be tricky. Trying to get an accurate Oh. That's surprisingly accurate. But only because I've got, I've got symmetry on. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. We could work with this. Yeah. Not bad. So, this is all very well, but you've got um, a business with, you know, thin lines. You've got a thin raised line and some detailing inside, which we can repeat from, an, from the helm, from the hilt. 
Okay, well, this could work. Um, that's more like it. A little bit bolder. That's good. Now, the trick is see if we can get this line. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Your beauty. Well, this was quicker and easier than fooling around with actual geometry. I feel like it's a little, it's a little off center there, isn't it? With, um, well, that one was wildly inaccurate. Yeah, this, this dart is kind of off center using that technique. Um, would it be horrific to fix that by hand? Shall we find out? I'm going to need a very fine brush. Oh, this geometry is so perfect. Um, well, We can but try. The trouble is, you're going to be dealing with some large areas because you have to soften that curve back. But let's just see. Might be able to pull it off. Find the place which is most comfortable for your hand to place my object so that, you know, I prefer to stroke down and I'm left handed, but whatever. I want to stroke down from here. And that gives me my most confident line. Anything else is a bit ropey. You know, dragging from left to right. It's particularly hard. For some reason, for me. So dragging down is nice. Yeah, this could work. This could work, as long as I've got symmetry on. Okay, not too shabby. Let's have a look from a distance and see if I'm utterly delusional. I mean, the thickness is, the width, the width has to match at every point. So a little bit more here and I think we're good. Now that was quite a, quite a time saver maybe for building up that. The other way would have been to build it actually in uh, a piece of geometry work and stick it on. But I think that's good enough. So I might go for a bit of a bit of a blur and a bit of a an inflate. Oh we've got a real disparity between the thicknesses because I'm able to inflate downwards on the bottom one. So that's not good. Um, what can we do? We can try another way which would be to pull out that way 
and pull out that way. I feel like it's a little bit thin, a bit mean. It's too mean. It's not... It's just too thin. I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to thicken that. Which means shrinking my mask. Try that. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Oh, that's quite nice. Why is the whole thing bigger than... Oh yeah, because I'm, because I'm fooling around with the edge. Okay, well I can fix that after. Um, and then the same on that side. Now we're looking pretty good. It's very sharp. It's all excessively sharp. Give a little polish. Is it too much? The whole thing feels a bit big, but I knew that might be the case and I could just, you know, bring it back after the event. Yeah, it's, it's kind of thick. That's more like it. Okay, I like that. Now, as the finishing touch, what I've got is the old, um, these kind of beads, these eyes from the hilt job, where I was doing the hilt. And I have these, it's on the other end, these eyes. I've already got those, so I can use them for um, attacking the, the decorative part here. Where are my eyes? If you want to know where stuff is, select the objects that you're playing with only. Do frame, and then that frame should contain all those objects. Oh, there's my eyes there. So, let me get hold of them. Pivot is goodness knows where. So bring that back. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to use that to push in. Or should I use it to... No, I'm going to use it to sit out. Uh, I was using this as an embossing kind of tool before. But actually on this case, I'm going to use the actual... I'm going to use the actual object and just put it in place. Like this. Now it's um, going to have to curve in two directions. So the first one is to get the vertical horizontal position like this, I think. Um, And that's, this is a bit tricky to do without bending your object out of shape, so you might normally, um, you know, do a bit of masking. And uh, you can actually do rotating instead. Masking and rotating is going to be more sympathetic 
but you know this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it's it's kind of a small detail but I do want um, you know decent positioning I'm gonna trim that off that that fishtail thing I trim that off on uh, that side only right okay we're making progress get rid of that um, now, there's the other curve, which I refer to, which is the, the curve of the surface of the object. Um, so, the closest similar, it's a bit tight in there, I don't want to use that space in there. But I can use this neighbouring space. If I just sit it close by, then this amazing move tool a matchmaker my god what a thing this is beautiful I'll try it 100% but it can be a bit drastic 100% yeah and it often it doesn't look quite right but you can sort of jig it around after the event I'm just going to try it again. It was a bit much. Try 70%. Yeah, you see a bit more controlled. Now, obviously, if you don't get the 100%, you don't get the, the kind of full range of the curve, perhaps. But you have more control. And then what you can do is, you know, something like this afterwards. And you can sort of bend it and just get it in, uh, in position. So let's see if that fits there nicely. And then we've got the depth. I still feel like this is a little on the thick side. Um, but I might just do that manually. I can see there's a slight gap there as well. I want that to sit inside. I can just bring my edges in. If I do that, I should have had symmetry on. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty nice. Now these eyes need to go in to the exact right, correct um, position, which is inside there. Um, yeah. Okay, this is good. Well, I can use this presumably to just keep going around uh, the surface so if I duplicate that and then I just need to jig it into position a bit of uh, judgment As it happens, you see this is where scale becomes important. Yeah, it's fine. I can just get two of these in here and uh, do it that way. Okay. Just need to adjust some angles. This kind of idea. It's got to be sitting at the same depth as the next one. Well, 
Well, I can maybe bring that out a touch. Yep, this is the idea. And then I can trim him off. Like that. Delete. Okay. Then I've got more of the same issues. I need to bring that one over there. And yeah, it's got a different curve, but it's got a much tighter curve when it comes to the end, but the edge, I'm not so worried about that. I can just push and pull it around. Uh, but I need to get it into place. Just bring you into place there. And so it's roughly correct. And I can do a lot by hand. And uh, yeah, just kind of fudge it in there. I think that's okay. Bit of tidying up there to do. And what's this? Well, that's quite nice because it's quite near. It's quite near the center of that. Okay, well look, I've got one half here, so, yeah, if I'm going to, I'll keep that one in the middle, I mean, there's no point in cutting that now, because it's gone over the half, what I'll do is repeat these two, um, if I merge those, I'm just going to tidy up that nasty corner, because... I'm going to uh, duplicate now anyway. So no point in duplicating nasty stuff. You better deal with it before you start. What's this? Auto masking activated. I don't know what you're talking about. What's this sculptress? No, I don't want that. What are you doing to me? Auto masking cannot make use of sculptress. Yeah, well, I don't care. I don't want sculptress. Thank you very much. There we are. Okay, so that's. I mean, it's a bit of a botch, but um, what can you do? So, yeah, I mean, it looks, visually, it's it's fine. I don't think you look at it and go, oh, well, whatever. Okay, so I've merged those anyway. I'm going to du uh, duplicate, not delete, um, mirror in the X. Got all that. Merge that down. Duplicate. Mirror in the Y. In the Z. And we've got that. And then we have not too much trouble here. Just a bit of trouble. But not a lot of trouble. So I just want that to come in and 
and uh, join up with the next one along. Well, I could have done with symmetry for that, but never mind. It's not the end of the known universe. Because how long does that take? Okay. God, it feels like forever getting in here. Just get in. That'll do. You're looking a little stretched there, my boy. You're looking a little stretched. And yeah, you've got an unfortunate kind of gap on the inside. So might have to just fix that by um, going in and having a look. What the hell? Yeah, it, no, it's not. It's not a question of going in. It's it's a question of filling that. That gap is is not great for printing purposes. Okay, so if I. I just kind of fill that back a bit. No, maybe you should put symmetry on. Same on that side. Okay. Um, it's a little messy on the ends. But, you know, it's okay. We're talking about a tiny little detail. It's just a little detail when you see it in relation to the whole. You see it in relation to the whole object. All right. That's it. That's the thing. Now. I think we're um, we're well on the way. This uh, this object is almost there. If I pull my sword out, yeah, I've got this kind of pin. All right. Anyway, that's it. That's what we got. There's a blade in there. And we've got a decent decorative part complete. Nice. Okay, I need some food. And this gets the leather treatment. There we are. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.